Uh, I would say the hardest thing was probably the uncertainty, not really knowing what's coming. You don't know how far you're going to go all the time. That was a, a bit of a challenge. The 1st Striker Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division's 37 company, troop, and battery level commanders recently took part in a grueling leadership course, or what's known as the Mungadai Challenge, participating in events that not only tests brute strength and perseverance, but puts them in the shoes of the troops they're leading back home. It's perishable skills. Lots of things are perishable skills, whether it's breaking down a 240, breaking down an M249, whatever it might be, but it, it gives us a better understanding and kind of reminds us of what the soldiers are doing. Day two of the 58-hour challenge begins with a squad picking up a mystery meal for the rest of the crew. And after water and a bag of rice are rationed out for breakfast, the group's optimism is undeniable. I thought it was excellent. No issues. Let's do it again. But what exactly is the Mungadai Challenge? It's uh, got a little urban legend about exactly how Mungadai came about. The, the most prevalent is that uh, Genghis Khan would take his leaders out on a training event or a crucible of, so, to test them, to make sure that they could get through the challenges ahead. The, the Mungadai were the elite of his, of his forces. I, I think our soldiers ought to be proud of these, these captains. It, it really allows us to get out there and it tests our will, tests our, um, our want to continue on and, uh, and also helps us with the rest of our peers and builds camaraderie, um, esprit de corps in the unit. I think all those things are really important. I think that that's really where the, the event hits a home run. Reporting from Fort Carson, Colorado, I'm Army Sergeant Megan Berry.